disease breakdown of my workflow for product configurator in unreal engine i choose product as a pistol grip tool for that we need to get some reference and data first product dimensions and look and second real world lighting interactions with materials third camera poses for collecting my images i am using the puree after getting all the reference images i created 3d model for every product design we need to go to three stages like base model semi detail model and detail model for that first i created model in blender for size reference we can use other dcc apps like 3dx max or my after creating the base mesh i imported into fusion 360 by using base mesh and size details i created the semi detailed model with perfect size and then i created the detailed mesh step by step after getting detailed mesh from the, i usually exported it into two ways one is step format and another one is obj format for key shot i prefer step format because it it's contain more details because it's a curve based model but if you are using obj it will convert into polygon mesh for games it is very good after importing into key shot first i set the environment and the camera poses after getting certain good pose i start working on the materials those are very basic materials i just give some tweaks on the specular and roughness details with the default material for details i added some decal after getting materials i created the studio sets for rendering this is only for helps to understand the how the product look like for the client so if you want to create product configurator you have to use any game engine like unreal for that i exported obj file into maya we can export step file but when converting into polygon mesh it creates problem for that we need to retopologize the mesh and also we have to create uv mapping it is more complicated so i skipped the process i chose the obj export it already have some overlapped uvs so i can manipulate and uh, pack them in good way in maya i took a textile density 200 for 4k man i packed by uvin we have to plan before doing uv mapping because if it is any symmetric objects we have to optimize that so i deleted some symmetric objects in the product so i saved some space in the uv map and another thing i created two models one model based on the uvins one model based on the materials so i exported both into substance painter first i worked with model based on materials after getting materials i used them second model with the help of id mask that was created by material id by this process we can bake all different types of materials into all given texture maps by udins because substance painter won't allow pack different materials in one texture so i have to do this process and again I have to come back to Maya because it's a off of the symmetric model. We have to create remaining off part, and then we have to rearrange the materials and UDIM because symmetric object the UV is also flipped. If there is any text, it will be look like a opposite direction. So we have to use multi cut tool to get a symmetric shape, and uh, we have to flip them horizontally. After that, we have to mix all objects into udim based objects so we can easily apply them in the game engine in unreal engine first you have to import all meshes and textures with the blueprint actor we can combine all imported objects into one object this is the master material and uh, attached three textures as a parameters so we can change in instant material so i created five instance materials and two emission materials and one display material after setting up product you have to create environments for that we need to create level switch it will helps to change the environment we have to create just blueprint actors that will hold the two different environment materials and post processing volumes for the environments i choose the one is studio one is moon it is a moon crater i just created in blender with the help of height map and i applied mega scan texture other environment is studio i used preset meshes what they given by unreal engine but i edited post processing volume to get a good environment look after getting environments 
i created the variant manager it helps to change the camera positions and environment like a remote when i am clicking on moon or studio it's not turning off or turning on the process volume so i did manually link them as a extra objects with the option of enable or disable i don't know what is the bug or maybe the switch won't work for post process volume and also we have to connect variant manager to product configure to manipulate and organize we have to learn some basics blueprints and ui configuration then you can customize them so i just customize the icons and interface like i want and i changed the location of logos in ui and i added the horizontal box in place of vertical box i changed the ui materials to get alpha channel of input logos i disconnected the materials logos update in the blueprints after all adjustments you have to add blueprint product configurator and variant manager into level finally we have to pack them for windows by clicking on platforms after that you will get the product app for windows so you can run like a game and it's fun